Section 51 of Women of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Pamela Krantz. Women of History by Anonymous. Madame Dacier, born 1654, died 1720. Hallam. One whom Bentley calls the most learned of women, Tanakil Faber, thus better known than by his real name, Tanguy Le Favois, a man learned, animated, acquired a considerable name among French critics by several editions, as well as by other writings in philology. But none of his literary productions were so celebrated as those of his daughter, Anne Le Favois, afterwards Madame Dacier. The knowledge of Greek, though once not very uncommon in a woman, had become prodigious in the days of Louis the Fourteenth, and when this distinguished lady taught Homer and Sappho to speak French prose, she appeared a phoenix in the eyes of her countrymen. She was undoubtedly a person of very rare talents and estimable character. Her translations are numerous and reputed to be correct though Niceron has observed that she did not raise Homer in the eyes of those who were not prejudiced in his favor. Her husband was a scholar of kindred mind, and the same pursuits. Their union was facetiously called the wedding of Latin and Greek. But each of this learned couple was skilled in both languages. Dossier was a great translator. His Horace is perhaps the best known of his versions but the poetics of Aristotle have done him most honor. The dossiers had to fight the battle of antiquity against a generation both ignorant and vainglorious, yet keen-sighted in the detection of blemishes, and disposed to avenge the wrongs of their fathers, who had been trampled upon by Tanguy Le Favois, with the help of a new pedantry, that of the court and the mode. With great learning they had a competent share of good sense, but not, perhaps, a sufficiently discerning taste or liveliness enough of style to maintain a cause that had so many prejudices of the world now enlisted against it. End of Madame Dossier Recording by Pamela Krantz